I got money cards. I thought he, I thought he wired me the money. Dude, stop standing on my head. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Reforged Eden. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today we're going to be saving some resources from some drones, apparently. So we've so been tasked by the Polaris, which are in their little base just over there. Um, this little base appears to be sort of airtight-ish. And um, I've set up some basic things in here, a couple of containers, a small constructor, a fridge so that I can actually turn my ship off and save its fuel. I've also set up a couple of additional solar panels over here just to uh, bring in some power and we should have, he says, should, which is a big should, we should have, uh, I think two solar cells, we'll probably get another one, or solar batteries. At the moment they are running on pretty much nothing, but our power consumption is extremely low, but we only have 11 minutes of power left at the moment. Um, we should be able to afford to put a couple of maybe, what have we got here, fuel wise? Not a vast amount, but we've got a few Promethium packs. Let's just plonk six in for now, that will probably work. I don't need to do that, do I? Let's be honest. I can put my six Promethean fuel cells in, but that should mean it'll last like 15 hours and 50 minutes. Like that. So that is easy pickings. But in all honesty, the solar cells should keep us going as soon as sunrise comes, which is in about five in game hours. But we're going to have to go over the tower, which is 16 kilometers away first to take on some drones. Now, <clears throat> he says, I now have, oh, I'm now shooting my base. Um, I have made some rounds, which is why I made the small constructor to allow myself to actually shoot back. I was very tempted actually to look at one thing which I've forgotten completely about and I will look at before I leave. Um, I think I had some titanium but I believe that, um, yeah I think the T1 or T2 as it is core requires um, something else, something I don't have. Let's have a look here. Uh, T2 core or basic CPU extender. Um, that requires steel plate titanium, which we've all got, optronic fibers, electrical regulators. Hmm, we might be able to make one of those, which could mean we could put a gun turret on the top. Um, what do we need? We need titanium ingots. I thought we had... We've got some titanium. How much tit... Oh, we can only make... We need 20 ingots and we've only got enough to make 10. Okay, so if we come across some more titanium that would be something to consider. But at the moment that's out of the question. So, first things first, we need to head over there which is 16 kilometers away so that means I'm gonna take a quick nip to space I haven't got any oxygen in here so I'm just gonna use the oxygen in my suit I'll tell you what thrusters are definitely less powerful in reforged I feel like I'm going slightly the wrong way we're gonna dip back down and and check no nope, we have still got quite a way to go it must just be on the other side of the planet which is why I can't see the marker but yeah, thrusters are definitely less powerful. My max speed is something that was much higher in vanilla on this build. 
so we definitely seem to be running short we would be able to do 130 whereas we can only max out at 105 at the moment so I'll keep traveling around the planet I should do a couple of pings while I'm here make sure there's nothing too um, frightening and uh, there are obviously some space resources up here but um, I think I'll save the space mining for another time so that is an asteroid of some description. Maybe I can get close to that as I'm passing by. Because that, can I get in range? A Promethium asteroid. So if I need Promethium, that's where to go. Right, we're coming in on the survey tower from above. Sorry for the little jump cut there. I really seem to have something stuck in my throat today. So let's switch to the guns and uh, just well, we might do a little bit of a ping because we should be seeing some drones coming up at some point in the not too distant future. They did mention some drones. So this is the survey tower. Okay, I'm not seeing any landing pad or any way to access the deck of the tower. I may have to pull up alongside and jump over. I thought I just had to... Um, protect it from some drones. I thought there was a drone strike coming in. But instead there's a Polaris surveyor. Yeah, this is... Oh, it's a floating tower. How cool. Okay. This could be interesting. If I, uh, fall off. Okay, let's, uh, get myself over as nicely as possible and hope this doesn't do the Imperion thing of sinking. Um, oh. Hey you! You need to move the survey survey now. Xerax are preparing to attack. That's why you're here. I'm reconfiguring the grav field, but you've got to keep those Xerax bastards off me. Commander, the Xerax have launched bombers and Xerax territory. Sorry, they had launched in Xerox territory and heading for your location. Okay, prepare for, for intercept. Holy shit, they're already here. Holy crap. That did not take long, did it? Uh. Right, one bomber down. Okay, Whoa, we are not as maneuverable as we need to be. Oh, the thrusters, the thrusters are making this less maneuverable than normal. Okay, uh, thankfully, bad AI means that I can probably get this. Or not. Come on, turn around. Bad AI along with bad aim, not the solution. Okay, all targets destroyed, Commander. They do not appear to be readying another wave. Thank you, sir. We would have been toast if office hadn't sent you. Well, I'm going to see if I can loot them. You're going to get out of here now, buddy. They might send reinforcements. Right. Oh, they want... Hello. Mark 22 bomb. Well, hopefully the tower didn't get too bombed. I'll be fine here. You can go on back. Leave me here. Okay. Thanks again. No worries. Happy days. Have a good time. All right. Computer and metal scrap. Can I sell that metal scrap to someone? It seems like one of those things I should be able to sell. So that was actually relatively easy, I'm going to say. Um, didn't seem too bad. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the surveyor now. So, surveyor? Security manager. His words seem to be hard today. Which involves flying back around the planet again. Slowly, slowly. So I shall do that and bring you back in. So we're fairly close now. I have actually checked the info panel on uh, both the moons here. And there's two moons and they have cobalt and titanium. And in fact pentaxid which is all good. But in the meantime, just as a little thing, I might check 
the top of this mountain range here because quite often in Imperial there are shall we say resources you don't tend to have access to on the planet generally stuck on top of a mountain so it may be worth just having a little scoot boot here to see if there's anything worthwhile around here these all seem like standard rocks at the moment so it doesn't look very impressive apart from there's an iron deposit which is all well and good but not particularly useful well it'll be useful but you know what I mean not particularly useful for specialist materials hmm well I don't see anything there maybe here this looks more like if it was going to be specialist material it would be here but again this does not look like specialist material of any sort um, no unfortunately maybe we Re reforged is slightly different from that point of view I've not really checked out whether reforged is a bit more it is more or less forgiving when it comes to ma materials like that at the moment it seems possibly less forgiving but um we i will probably have to go around and do a bit of mining in the near future anyway to start bringing in quite a bit of ore there's oh there is an iron deposit nearby we found a graphite deposit um copper and things like that going to a moon I'm hopeful that that would actually be okay but you, we would probably need to be a little careful of drones anyway let's go back and see what the security officer has to say I'll go park up here Whoop. perfect parking couldn't have done it better also is he going to give me some cash? Because I might, I could do with some cash. Because I could do with buying some food. Because food is not something I'm flush with at the moment. Um, where is this guy? He's on the upper level, isn't he? I forgot. I'd forgotten where he was. Hello, good sir, security manager. My good friend. How are you, sir? All right. I've done what you wanted. The survey tower is safe. The tower gets to stay where it is and the Xerax think it was an isolated UCH tag. Now, tell me where my people are. Not so fast. You're an employee of the Polaris now and we pay our employees when they complete a job satisfactorily. In fact, you did better than we expected. We didn't expect the Xerax to allow our asset to remain in place. Um, well, I do want the cash, but I'm going to say I don't care about the cash. I want the information because if I have to, I can get something else. We do things a very specific way and it's, and to us, there is nothing more important, more sacred than money. To act otherwise makes you a, a problem to the company and a problem for me. Yeah. I have enough problems already, so you'll take the money first. Then, and only then, will I explain the terms of your errant Terran Brethren's contract. And a contract they most assuredly have with the Polaris. Fine. Just give me the money and get on with it. The sooner this is over with, the sooner I can leave. First, head office have already wired the money to your Polaris account. We rarely deal in cash when paying for jobs. For the second, I couldn't agree more. Okay, spit it out. Your people's contract is still classified, but I've been given permission to tell you the specifics of what they negotiated for and point you in the general direction you need to go. I am not permitted to, nor do I want to reveal anything more. Your naval personnel arrived here 10 months ago and agreed to con contracts with the Polaris that they would loan to us two teams of UCH Engineering Corps 
to provide Terran equipment and manufacturing processes to the Pol to Polaris Megacorp in exchange for funding, transporting and opening dialogue to a partnership with various Polaris Meg Megacorp subsidiaries. Upon completing these arrangements, the clients were taken to Kenex 62, which we have heard of, in orbit aboard a pair of large transport ships for medical attention and to be assigned to long-distance couriers to their chosen destination. The naval engineers arrived on the station a week later and were transported off-site by a Polaris security fleet. Okay, isn't this... Yeah, medical attention. How many people are we talking about here? I don't know and I don't care. All I know is that there was a request for medical aid for several crew members and enough people to transport that it required two light transporters. If you want more information, speak to one of the Polaris pirates that took them to Kenex 62, not me. Okay, a pilot? Yes, a pilot. An idiot that flies a ship, just like you. He's just sitting over there on that bench, and will be more than happy to answer your inane questions. Farewell, and I hope to never see you again. Yeah, thanks for your help, and I you didn't get to ask him what Kenex 62 was. Looks like we've finally find a, found a lead, though. Indeed. Indeedy deedy do. Where is the guy? The pilot is over here. Okay, Mr. Pilot, do you mind if I have a seat? Oh, nope, the quest is going to kick straight in. Transport Pilot, uh, can I help you? Um, mm, Fairy been looking, picked up a few months ago, or I've been looking for you. You know where they are. Um, um, Okay, I'm looking for a fairy you picked up a few months ago. My memory's a little fuzzy. That could be anyone. Care to enlighten me? It was an executive order from the Polaris. Two transports, including you, picked up foreign naval personnel from this station and took them to a place called Kenex 62 in orbit. Should be pretty memorable. You know what? That does ring a bell. Unfortunately, the bell is a little rusty and could use a little oil if you get my meaning. Yeah, I'm getting your meaning. Oh, I get your meaning. You want money. You expect me to pay. What's stopping you from going to the, to the security station? No, no. Because um, if I go to the security station, he's not going to tell squat and he probably knows that. So how much to get the bell oiled? Well, seeing that you just got paid by the boss man over there, let's say 80 credits. Not too bad, if I say so myself. You're new round here, so you're probably not familiar with how things work. You don't overcharge people for cheap information. This little griff is all it takes to move up around here. If you get too greedy, there's always someone above you that'll want his cut. So keep your side business small. Fair enough. Gee, thanks for the pointers. Hey, it may sound underhanded, but this kind of stuff will save your lives in the corporate game. Polaris are running. The straight man who thinks he'll get anywhere with hard work and determination ain't working an angle will never move up. As long as you don't get caught, if you can pay off the catchers, you can get anything in life. Okay, fair enough. What will it be? You're going to cough up 80 creds for the info or take your business elsewhere? Take the 80 creds, dude. Pleasure doing business with you, pal. So, if I do remember right, there was me, Brad Dunn, taking some guys like you to Kenex Station in orbit. Two light freighters, blah, blah, blah. I heard some of them were injured. Oh, yeah. About five were, weren't in good shape. Two on my ship and three on Brandon's. Got stuck with a girl which crushed leg, busted head on my ship. Hammerson or something. Emerson. Natasha Emerson. So, she did survive the Heidelberg. So where exactly did you take them? 
like I said, Kennex Station. I'll just transfer you to the location data and the access codes to the main landing pad, so you can go there yourself and sort it out. Okay, I'm glad for that, glad I can help. Cheers boss! That seemed good. Chapter 4 The Cruel Stars Having signed a contract with the Polaris, um, you've been rewarded with with your first active lead in finding the rest of UCH it was like at Kennick Station, blah blah blah. But things are never so simple, a threat looms. Only you can save her. Okay. IDA Commander, I have the location of Connect Station queued up on your display. I have the plot of course. What's this, what's the sudden rush? I'm not quite ready to head out of here. Besides, what's a couple of hours after almost a year? There's no immediate rush, Commander. However, I've decrypted deep space transmission from the Zurak Station, calling for a destroyer to reinforce the local planetary orbit. Okay. Um, that could be a good reason to go. Um, I have detected increased combat active what something something nothing to worry about we can always avoid the ship when it turns up it's not like a destroyer is faster than anything we can make yeah well having said that my ship is not that fast bring up the course data and get your gun out of my face dude right you um, welcome to Pax Purgatory um, I'm here for a drink. I should have... Oh, I have some serious credits. I got paid. Okay. I got money cards. I thought, he, I thought he wired me the money. Dude, stop standing on my head. Um. These are not great. Well, body temperature, food, health... A pink strawberry milk that appears very similar to a strawberry with a hint of other mixed berries increasing maximum health and stamina grants you weak regen for how long i mean i'm tempted what does this do increases maximum hum hunger capacity but gives you bouts of dizziness that sounds crap grants you complete environmental resistance and a very weak health regeneration slightly radioactive that sounds pretty useful. But increase max health and stamina. Elyon special. Grants you weak stamina, hunger and health recovery. That could be useful right now. Just with the fact that I don't have a vast amount of food. And what the hell is a transportation boost? Increases my carry capacity. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna. Wow, it's expensive. You have a stock of things. Can I not buy one? Yeah. Okay, I'll buy one. Um, increases movement speed and stamina recovery. That could be useful later. Um, I'm gonna neck that. Just because that sounds useful. Oh. This is just water. Okay. And I'm kind of chilly. And I made a weird sound. I don't know if that's a persistent buff is what I meant. But it does seem to be a slightly persistent buff. That's we weapons and commodities. But your commodities are, if I remember from last time, fairly basic. You do have a multi-tool. And an EVA boost. I'm going to buy an EVA boost to save myself messing around. I mean, Christ, I could actually buy small optronic bridges. Bridges. I can buy a few multi-charges, which again, I'm likely to be able to make, but let's just buy a couple and get a multi-tool. Other than that, I'm not going to worry too much the rest of this I can worry about later I'm sure I can pick up optronic bridges later in the day but right now a multi-tool would be extremely handy to have
have. As I haven't happened to come across a way to loot one yet. What I would love is actually, let's go back up there. Sorry, people. Going to go back up. You, you were the food guy, weren't you? You are cafeteria. Uh, yes, I would love some food. Give me, please, if you will, a cheeseburger. Um, a ratatouille. Because they give some decent food, I think. Cheeseburger actually gives more. Uh, pizza? And, uh... Hmm. Give me a pizza, too. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit up that pizza. Ooh. That is nice. I feel much better for that. And just to have a couple of backup meals just in case things don't go quite according to the master plan just yet because I am probably going to shuffle straight to Kennex Station if I can and see what's actually happening so where is pray tell Kennex Station portals Yes, I mean, we haven't explored much of this planet at all, but still, I get the impression that Kinect Station is probably in orbit. Holy crap, yes. Galaxy maps, yes, 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 yes. Proceed, we know how that this works. Oh, what's going on? Yes, you're bringing up course data, but your course data is not particularly helpful right now. Because your course data doesn't seem to be showing me squat. Um, so. <clears throat> okay. Let me see if I can actually bring this up somewhere. I might need to actually go up to orbit to get the orbit map up. Because I've got a feeling Kinect Station is probably just in orbit. There was a Polaris Station up there. I don't see any other markers so my thought is it's up in orbit so I'm just gonna go and make sure the base is all shut down as much as possible for now so there's one other thing I've thought about to do before I go I mean at the moment the actual power we've got is rising which is great because that shows that um, the solar panels are charging up enough that we're going to probably last through the night and then more which is excellent because we still got eight hours of daylight left um, however one I need to install that EVA boost which my light armor doesn't even seem to have a slot but that might be because I need an armor locker so I'm gonna see if I can knock up an armor locker for one to see if I can do that the other is I'm gonna see if I can make a drill I didn't see whether the guy sold a drill but uh, I can't make a laser drill I've got this drill already so I might see if I mean I've got a few up there just because I can grab some Prometheum as I pass by that asteroid which might well be handy so I could always grab some Prometheum and do something with that platinum credit money card 10,000 how do I make that crafting item okay is that just like made from platinum because that sounds cool that is certainly something I haven't seen much of so I've got, oh, I've got a bloody armor locker on a ship, haven't I? Complete knobhead. I'm there thinking, talking about making a thing, and I've got a bloody armor locker. It's that right here. There. So, please can I have the EVA boost installed? Thank you. Right, so EVA boost, all good. Next up, I have a drill. It's not in great shape. It's got a few things in it, but um, 
I should have some biofuel still in the ship, which I do. I'll chuck that in there for now. I'm not sure if those are useful at all or whether I can sell them or what. And I think that is probably then caused to at least head into orbit, see if one, I can grab some Promethium. There is, should be Promethium on this planet. I may need to do some drilling. Okay, IDA has said, I'm detecting Kennet Station's locator beacon, Commander. I'm plotting a course. So as predicted, the station is up here in orbit. It is over there somewhere. Let's go this way. Uh, 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 I think it's on the other side of the planet. Typical. But in the meantime, that'll allow me to scout some asteroids as I go past. And actually pick up something from this Prometheum asteroid. Um, I'm also hopeful that I can pop over to one of the moons and pick up some of the titanium I require because that will at least help me upgrade the CPU on this ship, which means I can upgrade thrusters, which will be highly useful. Brakes! Okay. At least with my general EVA boost, I should be all right to actually, am I still linked? I should be all right to drill a bunch of this. So this is not going to be particularly exciting viewing because it's probably going to be fairly slow and I'm only going to try and pick up a bit so that if I get a drill and get some bits together I'll be alright. But at the moment the rads here are pretty high as well so yeah my mining here is going to be limited. Okay so we're about to well not break atmosphere but break zone. I guess on the planet so we need to just have a little bit of a look as to if anything pops up which is not a vast amount I mean we're not actually in anyone's territory which is nice um, and we've got some radar signatures which could be ores of some description now if we look on the planet we should be able to see what there is and there is a lot so let's um just put that version of hover in. Okay, there are Xerox here though. That's a large iron deposit. And there is a Xerox heat signature just over there. So the Xerox are likely to be pissy. And I don't know how bad drones are going to be. That's a silicon deposit. So I'm going to just fly by the drone for the minute. I mean, normally I would take down drones for both the XP and the parts, but in all honesty, I hit level 16 while I was mining that Prometheum. Leveling is not an issue. Uh, if anything, I feel that leveling is almost a little bit ridiculous, how fast you level. Aluminium. I mean, that has selling potential. I'm a little bit nervous of the Xeraxian heat signature over there because we're getting very close to um, Xeraxian space. There is indeed a thing over there and there is a drone. That's silicon. We found some uh, magnesium as well. But I'm going to go and keep uh, plodding around the uh, radar signatures and see if I can find some titanium because there is supposed to be six titanium here so let's have a look over here as well that doesn't look like that's anyone's territory oh no we've got a very small titanium deposit right here so I need not go anywhere else and there is no drone here so that is good so that should be enough just to get things started. Where's the titanium deposit? Underneath me? Underneath me? Underneath me? Come, 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 come. Ooh. Wow, this ship is struggling a bit with the older movement. It seems to be a little bit 
Well, a little bit worse for maneuverability than it is in vanilla. Um, I'm going to just get the drone out and try and hammer through. I have got more fuel if I, if I need it. I'm not going to ask how a biofuel fueled um, drill works in space. We'll try not to ask these questions. Wow, this is going to be slow. So I'm going to save you the pain. Okay, so I've cleared out that entire titanium deposit, that little very small deposit, and uh, we've got exactly 100 titanium. So that's about 200 actual titanium bars if the conversion is the same as vanilla. Um, one thing that was really interesting actually is the crust was really slow to get through um, and then the rock changed underneath to a darker greyer rock and that was a bit faster to cut through until we got to the ore deposit. Oh my god this is going to be dark and I do not have anything like night vision or anything like that good lord um oh that's not too bad now but that is still dark as sin um yeah and um, my understanding is real life is actually the opposite to that i mean i would expect it to be softer on the top and harder rock underneath but I appreciate the sort of design change to sort of try and simulate um, like a planet having different elements in the crust and inside which was a nice touch um, I am now gonna scoot boot and try and find um, a bit of cobalt because there's no cobalt on the planet so I may as well try and find some cobalt while I'm here I'm not going to pick up a vast amount, but a little bit of cobalt would not go astray when it comes to just making sure I have some stuff to make some basic technological upgrades if I need to. I mean, for that matter, things like neodymium and that wouldn't go astray either. Speaking of which, um, we have a crashed capital vessel right here. I mean that drone is relatively close which is a little bit less than stellar oh god yeah I gotta get I didn't turn my dampeners on last time now this is an old classic um, we've seen this one many times before I'm not gonna grab the thrusters off it yet I didn't bring a core with me um, which is something I probably should have bought but didn't think about um, so I didn't bring a core, which is going to give me a bit of a problem for grabbing anything. It's all going to go to waste. And it's not going to give the actual parts, well, medium thrusters might give me some useful stuff like um, flux coils, which is tempting. I mean, the thing I'm most likely to want to grab as salvage is probably... Um, these because RCS are full of things like energy cells, electronics, no flux coils. I think their RCS Mark II have flux coils. Um, but yeah, flux coils can be useful. I'm worried that like some of these things might be related. I can use the shower and clear my radiation, which is nice. Um, otherwise there's not that well I tend they normally a few boxes to grab but I like I say I don't want to harvest too hard on this just in case I want to come back for bits later on because now I know it's here it could be a useful resource much later in the day when it comes to it I'm gonna check normally there's some boxes down this end I'm just going to have a quick look inside and see if any of the containers or boxes that are normally in these things are here in this one. And with that, I'm going to say nope. So it's certainly not as rich 
as they used to be, or they are in vanilla. But there's certainly the opportunity to grab some bits here if we need to later on, because at some point I'm sure we're going to need to get a CV up relatively quickly. Okay, so I found some Polaris. I found some, sorry, Cobalt right here, small Cobalt. And there's a Polaris base or something here with a couple of resources. And there was also down here, for some reason I've managed to go completely around it, um, some some markers for buildings as well. So I think we'll probably have a, have a look at that because this whole place is relatively small. There's still a reasonable amount to scout out. But I found a pentaxid deposit as well, which will be something useful at least to note for later, because that will be something worth having. I'm going to just do a quick ping before I hop out and try and um, grab this cobalt. Not very much cobalt, I'm hoping, um, because one, I don't want to go anywhere near as deep as I did last time, because that took a long time, and two, cobalt you well again I'm going by vanilla here at least in vanilla you don't seem to need that much and the other thing is my drill is actually going to pack up fairly soon the rate at which things wear in reforged is ridiculous okay so we're just checking out over here the Polaris they have a mining site here and a mining station so chances are if we end up wealthier through doing Polaris stuff than we do oh god oh god I'm heavy um then we do um you know want to mine we might be able to buy some basic resources so I have about a hundred cobalt in the ship at the moment so again that will give me a reasonable number to get started at least salt I don't know what salt is or what it's for um, using everything from food to agriculture and numerous industrial applications well that is true in real life so you know I can see that being a thing um, so yeah we have salt as well but yeah, I'm going to check out what this is down here before we head across to Kennex Station. Yeah, right over here there was a bunch of heat signatures. So we'll see what we've got. We've got the Crash Titan. So just in case this is quest related, I am not going to mess with it just yet because I don't want to break the quests. There are some extra deposits around here of titanium, which I guess come into handy if if the quest is going to send me that way, which might well be possible, because I got a funny feeling at Kennex Station I might well get told that their ship crashed on the moon and sent over here. So. At least we know where the Crash Titan is now. Because, well, we've accidentally found it already. So I'll check out this one last deposit and head across to Kennex. Uh, one thing I noticed as I'm heading across to the to, um, Kennex station, um, which I will just mention, I spotted here in a distance you see a set of stars just up there now right above the top of the ship we're gonna go there eventually I believe if I'm right about this uh, the storyline being the same as Project Eden um, I'm pretty sure we'll be going there at some point I believe that's a place out on the edge almost outside the galaxy itself so I'm sure a lot of you know, I've played Project Eden through once, maybe twice, but um, yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting for me to to get reacquainted with the story. Okay, so we're coming up on the station. Time to ooh, there is a 
big ring of... Is this mines or something? This is a new station. This is one I don't remember. I'm actually going to switch the thing off here. Second, just to... Take in the station in all its glory as we approach. Come in, Canex Station. UCH ship requesting permission to dock. Let's not go inside the ring until that's over. Welcome, Commander. Kick off your boots. My house is your house. Okay, Mikasa Sukasa. Okay, let's see if we can find a nice spot to land here. Um, we are clearly upside down. So we can actually just press O to sort that out if we really wanted to. And, oh uh, yeah, yeah, now they look like docking pads. Can I just land on pad one here? Which looks much more inviting. It's a shame this is on the dark side of the planet right now. Well, I say right now, that is forever. And one other thing I'll point out that's always sort of got me in Imperion is that my food that is in my fridge, in here, I mean, I don't want to eat it at the moment because I'm not quite hungry enough to eat it, but... If I turn my sw my ship off completely, it will go bad. Yeah, that was awfully easy. That's right in, right into the main terminal. The malware that, that I returned to the official Pavel allowed me to access his personal communications commander. I use this connection, okay. That's a very handy idea. Um, no. Okay, we can access that locker. That's an armor locker. And let's turn off the grav boots. But yeah, the food will go bad, even though it's bloody freezing out there in space. Why will it go bad? New faction discovered civilians. Okie dokie. Um, a Polaris elite soldier who looks slightly angry. Station control. Probably somewhere we're not invited to go. Um, the Weary Spacer Bar and Grill. So we could pick up some more food if we needed to. I thought this was the food guy. What do you sell then? Welcome to Berum's Arms. You sell weapons despite the fact you have fridges and all sorts behind you. You have an M40 grenade launcher. A submachine gun. Now, a submachine gun in vanilla is shite. That doesn't mean it is in Reforged. So, where do we need to go? Uh, I'm going to guess probably up here. Because there's a guy right there who looks like maybe our man. He looks like, also looks like a merchant, so he might not be our man. But I'm also aware that we are running out of time for this episode. So, I'm going to have to say, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join me again next time when, holy crap, do we discover how big this place is and where the hell are the person we need to find is. Thanks a lot.